What's up guys, this is the DJ Puppet, and today I'm going to be doing a review of all the stuff I got at my Funko HQ. So my Funko HQ haul, um, or at the Funko HQ, sorry. Um, so I, you may have seen my recent live stream. I tried to live stream there, a pop hunt, and it lagged out really badly and did not work. So I was disappointed because I wanted to do a video on that, but I didn't because all the stuff didn't really work out. So I'm just doing a video of what I of my haul from the Funko headquarters. So I got um the Funko Shop exclusive Grinch here. I got the Halloween Freddy vinyl. Um, Seattle Freddy here. I made my own pop, and then I got some Funkos. So I'm doing a review on this, and I'm sorry I haven't posted much recently. Uh, I just have been really busy with a lot of stuff. Oop. Sorry, should probably cut that out. But I didn't. I should probably like restart this video. But I'm uh, I'm too lazy and I'm tired. So yeah. Uh, I'll just start reviewing the stuff. Alright, so out of um, the five things I got here, these are my two Freddies that I got. Um, so let's start with the um, Seattle Freddy. This is a really, um, really cool pop. It's like one of my favorite Freddies that I have. My favorite Freddy in general would probably be have to be the Freddy Wise from Funko Fun Day. So Freddy Funko Penny Wise, but I don't have that because it's expensive. I really want it though. I'm getting kind of off track. Anyways, but like I just really love the design of this pop. The colors match so well on it, and I love the Funko HQ logo on the back. I'm just trying to focus in on it. There we go. Funko HQ logo, and there's the Seattle Space Needle right there. And then like I would definitely love to see another version of this pop, but like you could definitely of the Funko if you're watching this, you probably aren't, but if you do, um, you could definitely do another version of this, Freddy. But, like, without the Seattle Space Needle, arms down, no Funko HQ logo on the back, and then hoodie zipped up, like, as, like, some sort of exclusive Freddy. Almost like a social media Freddy V2, I would think. It looks kind of like that. It would look kind of like that, I think. And then next we've got Halloween Freddy. I just, like, love the design of these Freddy vinyl figures. It's, like, some of my favorite Funko figures other than Pops. Like, if I were to choose, like, a second favorite other than... Like, Pops are probably my favorite uh, Funko figures. If I choose a second favorite, a favorite kind of figure, it would be this style of Freddy. Um, I just really like these kind. This is, like, my second one that I've gotten. I have another one that's bigger. It's, like, I think this is, like, a 4-inch figure, like a Pop. I have one that's, like, I don't know, 6, 7 inches, I think. And it's um, a silver one. It was a Funko Shop exclusive. But I just love... Um, the way this pop figure, or not pop, uh, this figure was designed in general with the metallic cape on the back and crown and bow tie. It just looks really cool, and I love the design of it. Next is the Funko Shop exclusive Grinch that was last released last year. I think it was for the 12 Days of Funko, or whatever you call it, a Christmas thing. Um, to be honest, this isn't my favorite one, but it's pretty cool. I just like how they did the black and white version of the Grinch with the red Santa, um... Um, with a red Santa outfit. I would just bought this for um, Christmas decoration mostly. I just think it's um, it's pretty cool. It's definitely not my favorite 12 Days of Funko uh, one. I think I've had to choose a favorite out of those. It would probably be um, the Freddy Nutcrackers. Those are awesome. Those are just amazing. I love those Freddy Nutcrackers. I saw them recently at an individual collectible store and they're like a hundred bucks. Quite expensive, but it would be worth it for me. I they weren't at the HQ. If they were there, I would have probably bought them. Um, yeah, so I just got this there because it was at the HQ, and it's a little bit valuable. It's an okay figure in general. I like the new Grinches, like with the from the new Grinch movie, better uh, than these ones. Yes, his, his feet are too big. That's what I'm gonna leave you with. The feet are too All right, big. So next is the pot figure that I designed. So. I'm not gonna review this because we buy because I'm not gonna review this because it would be biased. <laughs> it's not the best one ever. They had some parts there. Or sorry, they didn't have some parts. Uh, they had some parts. Um, they didn't have some parts there that I wanted. Um, like there was like a golden Freddy scepter that I wanted or a silver Freddy scepter, like um, almost like a staff that I wanted. They didn't have it there because they didn't have all the parts in stock. They only had the ones with the Freddy nose in, or like the nose hole. I can take this off. Eh. They only had these kinds of heads with, where you could have glasses and stuff on them. They didn't have the ones with the actual nose. They only had these ones. So you had to choose like glasses or something to put on it. Or else it would look like a weird nose hole like Voldemort. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I'm just going to show it off a little bit. I didn't like the shirt choice the mu as much. 
kind of wish I could have chosen a different shirt, but I'm kind of stuck with it now. And yeah, that's my Freddy. And it's a build a monster box here because they didn't have any Freddy boxes, which I was also sad about. Because I wanted a Freddy box, but they didn't have one. Alright, so next is the Funkos cereal here. Um, Freddy Funkos. Um, these I'm not going to really review that much. Uh, they taste okay. They taste uh, way better than the Batman ones. The Batman ones taste it awful. They taste not too bad, but definitely not my favorite cereal. Um, I'll take a look at the figure on the inside. It's a pretty cool, like, when I was talking earlier about the certain design of Freddy's, these are the ones that I like. Like, I have this, this Freddy here, but all silver. And he's, like, seven inches tall or something, six inches. I don't know, I don't know how tall he is. But this is, a, I like this, the mini Freddy, it's cute. And I keep it in its package because I don't want to take it out. This cereal, though, is not the best. It's definitely better than the Batman cereal, which didn't taste all that great. I don't know, maybe it was stale when I bought it, but I don't know. Because I heard that Funkos can sometimes go stale in the box, like, even when they're shipped out. So it wasn't, it wouldn't have been the re um, the retailer's fault at all if it was stale. It's okay cereal. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want more Funko videos. Because I'm going to do them anyways. So, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!